Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to write quadratic equation given two complex roots. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on zeros or roots of a function. <laughs> zeros or roots of a function are values of x that causes the function to be equal to zero. Now there are some notations how roots are written in some problems. So in some problems, they write it this way. The roots are five, negative three, to i three plus minus i. In some problems as well, they write it differently. So they write like x is equal to five. They also write this as x is equal to negative three, x is equal to two i, and x is equal to three plus i. And then this is also the other one since it's plus and minus, so that would also be x is equal to three minus i. Now, if we want to change these roots here into its factored form, we are going to use the zero product property backwards. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as x minus 5 in parentheses, which means that if we equal this to zero, then we add 5 from both sides plus 5 from both sides. That's how we got x is equal to 5. So pretty much we switch the sign of this and that would be in factored form. So in this next root right here, we can go ahead and write this as x plus 3. And this one right here can be written as x minus 2i. And this one right here in factored form, we can write this as x minus 3 plus i. And then that's the other one here is x minus 3 minus i. So this is how we change the roots into its factored form. So pretty much the trick is if we are given the roots in either of these notation, all we need to do is to switch the sign of the root, put it next to the x, and put these two binomial inside the parentheses. Okay, going back to the example right here, write the quadratic equation whose roots are 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i. So the first step that we're going to do is to change this root's into this form, x is equal to 2 plus 3i, and then the other one right here is x equals 2 minus 3i. Now we are going to change this into its factored form. So in order that we can change this into factored form, we're going to use the zero product property backwards. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as x minus Two. So I switch the sign of the real part. I keep this, that's a plus 3i, and put this inside the parentheses. And then I can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side right here. So that would be x, switch the sign of the real part, minus 2, minus 3i. So what I would have to do next is to multiply these factors together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a 3 by 3 box because that's the 3 terms and 3 terms. So we're going to have a 3 by 3 box here. Okay, in this box, we're going to write each one of these. So we're going to start with this um, factor here. So that would be x negative 2, 3i. And then the other one here is x minus 2, minus 3i. So then I'm going to multiply this. x times x is x squared. This is negative 2x. x times negative 3i is negative 3xi. And then negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 3i is a positive 6i. And then 3i times x is a positive 3xi. 3i times negative 2 is a negative 6i. And then 3i times negative 3i is a negative 9i squared. Now notice that we can cross these two out because they are opposite. So I can cross this out and cross this out. They get crossed out. And then this 6i minus 6i would also be crossed out. So we are left with all of these only. So that would be um, x squared minus, we add these two together. So we can add these two terms here since they are like terms. 
So then that would be a negative 4x. And then the constant here is a plus 4 minus 9i squared. Now we remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So I plug in the negative 1 right there. So that's x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 9 times negative 1. So that comes out a positive 9. So that is x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 9. Because you have a negative 9 times a negative 1 is a positive 9. So then we combine like terms. So the like terms are these two. So then finally we can go ahead and write the equation as that would be y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 13. So this is the quadratic equation that has a that has a roots of 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!